Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chai Time with Misha. So today I am sharing a collective haul, uh, things I purchased over the last two, three months or since I posted my last haul video. Um, I will be showing you stuff from Ulta, from Kohl's, Sephora. Um, I'm gonna maybe include some birthday gifts I got the last month. And yeah, so let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from Ulta. Shampoo and conditioner. This is the Smooth Sexy Hair, Sexy Hair brand. I always feel a little like scandalous telling people I use the Sexy Hair brand. I don't know why. But it's a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. And um, this is a brand that you can use the Ulta coupons on, so that's a plus. I think they're about between, the bigger size is like between $25 to $28. And the reason I really like this is because um, I get keratin done in my hair and I need the sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. Um, but I also don't want my hair to feel weighed down and you know like a lot of those um, keratin type shampoo and conditioners they almost they're so thick that they almost feel like they're hurting your hair like when you're trying to like set it up because also you know since it's sulfate free it doesn't really like bubble up that nicely so it almost feels painful then it feels like it's weighing down your hair and your hair gets greasy this conditions this moisturizes shoot the shampoo is enough it smells delicious like coconut and I really recommend trying this out if you you know color tree or keratin tree or you just need like you have frizzy ethnic hair try this out Okay, next up, so, um, you know, with my wedding coming up, it's going to be the first time that I'm actually wearing foundation and powder, so basically like base makeup. I've, I've never worn that in my life. I think high school graduation, but that's about it. Um, so I got the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, and this is the oil control one. I, I've seen about two other types. Um, at Ulta, but um, this is the oil control one. Uh, the other one is like a mattifying, like long wear one. Um, my friend recommended this one to me over the other one because she said it oxidized her foundation. Um, so fingers crossed this works out for me because it's for my wedding day. Um, and that, I used my $10 birthday coupon on this, so I ended up paying like $20 and some change for it. Um, so yeah. Okay, continuing with the wedding theme, it's also going to be the first time in my life that I am going to be wearing fake lashes. The idea of fake lashes terrifies me because I'm already scared of wearing mascara. I have naturally long lashes and when I was like a little baby they were they were voluminous too but you know as you grow older your face changes your eye shape changes so I feel like just to add a little bit of oomph especially because I like wearing thicker winged liner to just show the volume I do like wearing mascara some so everybody's like well you gotta wear fake lashes it's your wedding so this is the duo strip lash adhesive um, it's the blue packaging that applies clear so fingers crossed all this like wedding makeup should work out for me I have decided to be adventurous and do my own wedding makeup but I will have a makeup artist like back up like on the side she'll do my hair and then if I like start freaking out then she can do my makeup too so um I actually this is a little out of order I bought these before I bought that stuff with that 20% off coupon um, you can use on like prestige the special kind and as you can see I've already used this but this is the it cosmetics from the live beautifully line um, and these are the it cosmetic brushes that were made for Alta as you can see I've already used it but you guys know I love you know tapered angled sort of blush brushes and this is really like feels really soft um, 
is it something special no like i i think i paid like 25 dollars for this um, it's similar to the Sigma brush uh, that looks like this, but just, just a little more dense, so it does blend out the blush nicely. But you guys know I love my e.l.f. $3 and my Up and Up from Target $5.99 brushes. And do I feel like this does something special in comparison to those? Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The jury is still not decided on that one, so yeah. Anyway, next up are the Butter London Moisture Matte Lipsticks. When these like first came out, I saw like a couple of YouTube videos on it. I didn't hear a lot of fuss about this. I just saw like a couple of videos here and there. But I was really excited about trying these. And then I tried them. And yeah. Um, I, I think I want to make a separate review video for these. I do like the two colors I have. I've posted a picture of Ladybird and a swatch of it on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a separate video on these two shades because I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, second thought, uh, what's a fun haul video if I don't, you know, like show some swatches? I was trying to build a suspense there for my next video on these. This is the shade Old Blighty. With a British accent. I, I think that's like a British slang or something. It looks a little boring, but it's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous on the lips. Um, and this is Ladybird, and I love this color. It's so pretty. That's Ladybird. Moving on to Belk. <laughs> so with Belk, I kind of have a funny story. Um, sometime after like Thanksgiving, I got this email from Belk. If you come to our store at 8 a.m., first come, first serve, like first hundred people get a $10 gift certificate. And I was like on it. So I, I like gathered up and I went there that morning and my fiance went too. I was like, you gotta go too. And we both made it in time. Hadn't been like 100 people yet. So um, I got the MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliating Scrub. It's a gentle exfoliator. Um, does it, like it f makes my face feel soft. Um, it, it makes my face feel clean, plump after I use it. I, I definitely love its like sort of herbal salon-esque scent. Um, I like it. I like its effect, but I don't want to mislead you and make you think like it will just, you know, take the gunk out of your pores because has it done that for me? No, but it just makes my face feel clean and healthy, plump, sort of brightened which I like and and I miss it when I don't use it I, I use it about twice thrice in a week um, and it is about $28 so and then I got $10 off so that was exciting um, but yeah I, I recommend this as a gentle scrub if you guys have used the Olay Henriksen walnut scrub that I've talked about in the past you will like this one as well. Um, it doesn't dry out my face. That's that's another plus. Okay. Next is the Rouge Allure Velvet Lipstick from Chanel. We all know the price of Chanel lipsticks. <laughs> I think it's about $35. It used to be $32 like a couple years ago. I've seen the price of Chanel change in my lifetime. I'm old. But no, I'm not that old. Anyway, so this is uh, from the limited edition collection. It's number 337 La Flamboyante. I'm not going to swatch this one for you because I am saving it to just, you know, wear it on my wedding day. So I want it to just be new and fresh. Even if I won't end up wearing it, like, throughout the day or whatnot, um, you know, I still just want to preserve it for that day. Uh, and keep it new and then I can always be like that was the lipstick I wore on my wedding day okay 
So next, I am showing you what I got from Kohl's. So finally, you guys can see what lashes I bought to use with that scary lash glue. Um, they're from a brand called Eyelore. They're the Katy Perry Lash It collection, I guess. Um, they have a glue like included with them. So one is Sweetie Pie and the other one is called Bangin' Beauty. So yeah. So let me just show you those again. They're really pretty, but I am going to post a picture of them on Instagram too so you can like have a better look. Next, I bought the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. Um, I didn't want to, you know, splurge on the beauty blender, but I did want to try the sponge concept. And I've read many reviews about how this is basically as good as a beauty blender and kind of one-fourth the price of a beauty blender. Um, so yeah, I like it. I've tried it with the samples of foundations I've been collecting for my wedding day. Um, but it's good, and if you don't want to splurge on the beauty blender, get this. I even got 30% on top of that at Kohl's. So both of these, so there were two in here, and it was for $11.99. Um, good deal. I like it. I haven't tried the beauty blender, but I really don't want to invest in that yet. I'm not a foundation wearer. I'm just just bought it for my make like wedding day, and then I'm gonna give it all to my mother. Now we will go on into Sephora. First, let me show you this box. I don't I don't know why, but I'm just they had one left over after the holidays. It's just it's just I don't know. I like it. It's good for. I'm one of those people that I still like keep the packaging of the makeup I buy. Yeah, I have an attachment to those. So these boxes are great for that and it's great for storage like you know you want to put nail polishes, anything in there and it's, it's attractive to look at. Okay, I got the Glam Glow Gift Sexy. Uh, I bought this in December with that another special coupon that Sephora sends out to its uh, VIB members. Um, I don't really remember how much I paid for this, but it was like maybe $52 because it was like $72 and then, but I'm not, I'm not counting tax. Tax here in Tennessee is like almost 10%. It sucks. So yeah, it was a bit more than $50. Um, and yeah, I used a $20 off 50 purchase coupon on this. I haven't opened it yet. I'm saving it for, you know, the wedding time. Since it was my birthday last month, I got the gift set. I was really excited about the free birthday gift from Sephora this year. Um, because I discovered, uh, weird love for NARS this year. Like, I tried the NARS, well, you'll see we'll get to it but I've already posted a video of my NARS audacious lipsticks because I, I love them um, but anyway I've also um, gotten into sort of these lip pencils and I'm gonna swatch them for you the first one is Cruella and it is it's just gorgeous gorgeous and this one is I don't like this one that much because it has sort of like a sheen to it it's like a pinky mauve with a sheen. It's called Rikujian. Yeah. It's a pretty color, but I don't like lipsticks with sheen, so I'm gonna pass it on to someone who likes, you know, the sheen. My aunts love lipsticks with sheen, so I'm gonna give it to them. I also got a larger than life long wear eyeliner. Um it's nice it's a nice pigmented soft uh, black liner but I I don't really wear um, in my waterline or up top like an eye pencil I love gel liner and then for the waterline I've been like on a hunt for a nice nude um, eyeliner but unfortunately I tried the NARS nude one it's called Rue Bonaparte 
and it didn't work out for me and I ended up returning it. I um, bought a lot of stuff during the Sephora VIB sale that just went by in November. Um, and I posted a picture of my like all my purchases on Instagram, so you can see that there. Uh, so I, you know, I've already reviewed some of those products and I've mentioned them in my favorites. So and I plan to make future videos with those products, so I don't want to, you know, be too redundant. But I still want to mention. Um, another lip pencil from NARS since we've been talking about it as you can see I've already used it and really like it and this is the shade Bansar so that's Bansar I also made an online order from NARS so they were out of something when they had their 20% off sale during Black Friday Cyber Monday so they sent me an email with another 20% off code and said, you know, we apologize, we were out of that uh, one lipstick that you wanted. I ordered, but I did order, I ordered like three other during that time and you can see that in my previous haul. Anyway, I got the NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger. Again, my first time wearing um, concealer it's amazing I don't I don't even have to like set it I don't even feel the need to wear foundation with it it's just like it's a nice you know just brightening for this area I don't really need concealing or color correcting I just like that bright look near the eyes um, but it, it does conceal it's a nice concealer as well I recommended it to my friend and she was happy with it um, next up is the NARS uh, New Velvet Lip Liner. Oh my, god, oh my god. So, I can't say that I like the collection as a whole. Like, I can't say I want more colors. I can't say that the other colors won't be drying. This one just works for me. I love it. You know, it's one of those where I, like, wanted to achieve this particular lip color and it gave me that effect. This shade is called Mihiri Island Beach. I have swatches of it on my Instagram. I've reviewed it on my Instagram, but that's Mihiri Island Beach, and it looks amazing with Bansar mixed together. I'll show you another, or, well, might as well show it to you right now because it's the only thing I have from Target. This was like $7.99 or $8.99 from Sonia Kaushik, and it's in the shade Mulberry Nude. And this was a recommendation from my two, uh, to my YouTube or Instagram friends. Um, I'll leave their channel link and Instagram link down before, Jess and Mel. And um, they showed these on their Instagram, and instantly I had to have it. So that's Mulberry Nude, and it looks amazing with Miri Island Beach, like, paired together. Amazing. It's like plum, eggplant, sultry deepness, just, just amazing. Okay, going back to NARS. Um, I already showed you guys the creamy concealer, um, and I next I got the shade Vanessa. Already mentioned this in my favorites already mentioned it on Instagram yeah and I think I showed it in my NARS like collective video too but that's Vanessa now um kind of want to get into some birthday stuff like some birthday gifts I received but I'll keep it keep that to the end um just a quick like drugstore portion here I really like these. So I, as you guys know, I've been testing a lot of foundations. I've gotten little samples. Yeah, and I've been trying and trying, and I just needed something gentle to just remove it. And then I got this. It's the Sally Hansen Hard as Nail Extreme Wear in the shade Bay Blue. So this is a new shade, and I, like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is a dupe for Essie's Bikini Sotini. I love Essie's Bikini Sotini as a color, but its formula sucked. I had to like goop on five layers and I was like, this is not happening. And then I got holes and uh, yeah, and basically returned that. But mm, 
beautiful color but again I had to put like it's thin so I had to put like four coats and then again it would get all messy even with the top coat so I'm not a fan of this formula today I went to Nordstrom and I picked up so originally I'm from Toledo in Ohio not the same as Toledo in Spain uh, but I really really just wanted a lipstick that said Toledo on it plus it was orange red orange okay can I open this I don't want to ruin the packaging people look at the packaging it's so cute and oh oh my it's like double packaging mm. okay these always say back to Mac but I've heard that you can't back to Mac the special packaging oh my god this is the first time I'm looking at it like this. Well, I did try it in store, but I was like too focused on the color. But there it is, folks. There it is. And it's in the shade Barbecue, and it's, it's all sentimental and justified. Barbecue's like my favorite sauce. Another item I picked up at Nordstrom is the MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. It's a highlighter illuminizer you can you know it's like this there's light boost and you can uh i don't i don't want to use it yet because it's for the wedding day but you can you know put it here 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 i don't, I don't know i'm not like a fan of highlighting and contouring but i mean i just don't see the necessity in it I feel like it just, it makes me look like a Oompa Loompa clown, but you know, it's the wedding day and I, I just, I feel compelled to do it because it's like in the makeup law books these days. Like if you're not doing it, I don't know, you're in the 1920s. Okay, next I got the MAC Studio Chromographic Pencil in the shade NW25 N30, uh oh. I think this is the wrong one. I was supposed to get the N15. Let's check. Oh, is it a, okay, maybe not. It is light, but that's what it looks like. And I did want this, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will stay in my waterline, unlike the NARS one. I've also tried the Tarte one, and the Rimmel one that's supposed to be like a dupe for it and none of those stayed in my waterline. And I, I mean I did try this the other day and it got on like I, my lenses so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it works out. Okay, so we still have time to show my little birthday gifts. This was a birthday gift from my fiance. They're from J. Crew. I was wearing these in my 2014 favorites and I did mention them in there but um, yeah in general I've been really loving J. Crew jewelry it's nice quality and I get it when I can you know like get my student discount so that way it's a bit affordable but yeah I really like these earrings I've been wearing them every single day they just really like glam up your life he also under duress he didn't like this color initially but eventually he was you know supportive and happy that he got it he got me um a matte mac uh eyeshadow in the shade orange i don't know if this was like part of a collection or whatever but oh my god i love it and we found it at the cco and it was the last one there so i really like it and if you guys live near a CCO or are driving somewhere and are at an outlet, make sure to check for this. Um, I really, really like it. Can't say much more. Just this beautiful, it's beautiful orange. You guys know I love orange. Now I'm showing a gift from a friend. Her name is McKenna. And um, this, she got me the Philosophy French Vanilla Bean. It's a shampoo, shower gel, and a bubble bath. Um, I've only used it as a shower gel, but I really, really like this. This is my first time trying it, and it smells delicious like a bakery. Um, she was able to pick the scent out well. Okay, 
she knows how much I love lipsticks. So she wanted me to try these and review them. Um, they're the Bite Lush Lip Wipes, and I think this is the travel size. I haven't tried them yet. I'm like, oh my god, she got them for me so special, so I'm like preserving them. But yeah, I'll try them soon. Next, McKenna got me the Butter London Nail Foundation Flawless Base Coat. Uh, she told me she wants my honest opinion on this. Now, what I was um, hoping from this would be that it would be sticky like it would make my nail polish adhere especially nail polishes like this which require multiple layers and you know just just should stick to your nail shouldn't like peel off like a tape or get like those holes in it and um so i wanted to try this as well as the sephora sticky base coat for, like sephora x1 i'd heard great things about both of them so I had them on my wish list on my blog and that's so she um, picked the Butter London one. I've tried it with this and it didn't really make this work um, so I'll keep you know trying it how it works out. Um, okay so she got me uh, and I also already mentioned this in my favorites um, I just had to mention it in there, but I love, love, love this shade. And, um, yeah, this is the shade Juliet, and it pairs really nicely with the nail polish I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing OPI's Live Love Carnival, and this is a nice coral, yeah, like coral shade. True coral, I would say, like a light coral. Uh, very vibrant very like almost neon um i have swatches or like a picture of me wearing it on instagram um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the haul i think i'm gonna have one more up before the um end of this month and then i'll be on a little break and you'll get videos from me again in like mid-march once i'm back in the u.s my wedding is in india so Videos will resume in mid-March, and I hope to get at least one or two more before the end of this month. Okay, enjoy, take care, bye!